Hey everyone, this is Ms. Moffat from Across the Litiverse, and today we'll be looking at comics, manga, and graphic novels that are due to hit stores in May-ish. If you're new to this channel, then surprise! I work at a comic book store as an anime and manga buyer, and also thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you sell single-issue comics, then you have an account with Diamond Comics distributors. I am not even exaggerating this. Diamond Comics has a distribution monopoly structured by exclusive arrangements with US publishers including Dark Horse Comics, DC Comics, IDW Publishing, Image Comics, and Marvel Comics. Marvel even has their own separate catalog because Marvel. Diamond is also the publisher of Previews, a monthly catalog that showcases upcoming comics, graphic novels, manga, toys, and other merch that stores like mine can order. Opening a new Previews is kind of like Christmas morning for buyers, and we all look forward to receiving the new catalog every month. In March's catalog, we're getting Previews for books that will largely be published in May, so I thought I'd take you through some of the books that caught my eye. So do get settled, because there's some neat stuff coming up. Booktubers in particular will likely be excited for the comic book adaptation of Pierce Brown's best-selling science fiction book, Red Rising. In the future, humankind is set out across the stars, but a strict color cast system keeps everyone in their place. The goals rule over everyone, but what happens when one of them falls in love with a lowly red? Red Rising number one is due out on May 10th, and I'm curious to see how this one plays out in comic book form. IDW Publishing is releasing some adorable Funko Pop covers for their main series in May. I know of a certain friend of mine who might be excited about the X-Files cover. I'm just trying to remember who that might be, though. How cute are those? Epic win, IDW. In Captain America Steve Rogers, we learn Cap's been a member of Hydra all along. Secret Empire is the next big Marvel crossover event where our super friends are dealing with the fallout of Captain America's Hydra love and ways. I'm interested to see just how ragey Marvel fans get on May 3rd when they find out there's another mega Marvel crossover event. And there's I am Groot number one. He is Groot and I am so happy. Groot gets separated from the Guardians of the Galaxy while they're traveling through a wormhole and he's got to figure out how to get home. That'll be difficult given he's still the little scamp when compared to his former self. I'm a fan of fluffy adventure series, hence my love of manga, and Groot is just king adorable in my books. This book hits shelves on May 24th. Next is Star Wars Screaming Citadel number one. I mention this book because A, it is Star Wars written by Kieran Gillen, and B, it features a team up with Luke Skywalker and Dr. Aphra, a rebel pilot and a rogue archaeologist. This is definitely a team up to look forward to on May 10th. Then there's Misfit City number one. This might be the adventure comic I've been waiting for. A girl named Wilder and her three friends discover a centuries old pirate map drawn by someone called Black Mary, and they discover that their small town might actually have some some real adventure after all. Misfit City comes from the writer of Legally Blonde and 10 Things I Hate About You, which in and of itself sounds pretty intriguing. So check this one out on May 10th. We're into my category here and there's some excellent books on the horizon. First, it's Your Name, the light novel. I managed to catch Your Name at the Tiff Bell light box and I actually cried in public over this one. Curse you, Makoto Shinkai, with your beautiful animation. My only issue is that it's a hardcover coming from Yen Press and their hardcovers aren't terribly well made. Maybe they'll up their game for this one. I guess we'll find out on May 24th. Then it's Berserk, volume 38. I had to rub my eyes in disbelief over this one. Berserk, volume 38? Like, I can actually bring it into the store and it will exist? To put this in perspective, Berserk 38 comes out on July 5th, according to Diamond. Volume 37 shipped on November 20th, 2013. I also thought Dark Horse was converting Berserk into 3-in-1 omnibuses, but apparently that plan has been abandoned. All I know is that at least after a year of trying, I finally have a full run of Berserk in-house. Then it's Kingdom Hearts 2 Volume 4. I've had people asking me when the next Kingdom Hearts 2 volume was coming out since 2015, and now I can finally say that it is May 24th, 2017. Seven Deadly Sins, the light novel. Seven Deadly Sins became a hot series for our store thanks to Netflix taking on the licensing rights to the anime. Now not only will we get the home video release for the anime, we're also going to get a prequel series that shows us how the fall of the Lioness Kingdom happened in the first place. Then there's Black Butler the art book volume 2. The last time this book was solicited was in September 2016 and apparently it's gonna come out on May 24th. I admit I am highly skeptical of this information but the first art book did really well so I'm hoping it will eventually hit shelves. Then there's My Brother's Husband volume 1. So the catalog said this one had a Yotsuba feel to it and that's 
pretty much all you need to say to get me to read a manga series. Yaichi is a work at home suburban dad whose life is turned upside down when his twin brother's widower, an affable Canadian named Mike Flanagan, shows up in Japan. This one explores Japan's still closeted queer community, how it's affected by the West, and how the next generation has the chance to change all of that. It sounds so sweet and I think I need it in my life on May 3rd. Next is my lesbian experience with loneliness. Seven Seas Manga is making quite the name for itself as it's one of the only publishers bringing Yuri manga to the North American audience. Yuri explores the lives and relationships of queer women and this one's unique in the sense that it focuses on older queer women. This one's due to ship on June 7th. <laughs> Following on the footsteps of the Avatar coloring book, we now have the Legend of Korra coloring book. I know the market's getting a little oversaturated with coloring books right now, but there is definitely a demographic of comics fans who would like to interact with the art that they love. I can't draw and coloring is a great alternative for me. This one comes out on July 12th. Then we have Justice League vs Suicide Squad hardcover. Did you know this was a thing? Oh it was a thing, let me tell you. In case you need the shorthand here, the Justice League finds out about the Suicide Squad and they cannot let it stand. Issue number one had Harley and Batman on the cover and I thought people were just gonna lose their minds. The full hardcover edition comes out on June 21st. And we have Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal Tales hardcover. I was thrilled when Boom Studios released Jim Henson's Labyrinth Tales and I was hoping there'd be a companion book for The Dark Crystal as well. These stories add new layers to the original movie and who can beat a lovely hardcover edition of said stories. This one's due out on July 5th. Then there's Hostage by Guy Delisle. I've seen a few booktubers mention this book and for good reason. In the middle of the night in 1997, Doctors Without Borders administrator Christoph Andre was kidnapped and taken to an unknown area in the Caucasus region. He was held captive for three months with little to survive on and almost no human contact. Guy Delisle has an amazing track record in comics and I feel like this book is going to be one that haunts readers for a long time afterwards. You can check this one out on May 3rd. <laughs> Animal Jam number one. I had to include this one because I know so many kids who live for Animal Jam. Even I have played Animal Jam. For all the adults who don't know what I'm talking about, Animal Jam is an online playground of fun and adventure created by National Geographic. Do you remember chat rooms? Animal Jam is essentially the younger generation's chat room, except they have animal avatars and they play really addictive games. And now there's a comic book coming out on April 12th. Parents of Booktube, you're welcome. Then there's Five Worlds, The Sand Warrior, Book One. I got an amulet vibe from this book, which is why I mentioned it here. The five worlds are on the brink of destruction unless five ancient and mysterious beacons can be lit. Three kids from different backgrounds join forces to help their worlds and to stop the wars. I love epic adventures and it sounds like this one's got a lot of magic to boot. It comes out on May 3rd and is available in a hardcover and a softcover format. There are lots of toys mentioned in the previous catalogs, but the ones that really caught my eyes were the DC bombshell pop figures. I love the DC bombshells. Like, who wouldn't love pinup versions of the ladies of DC, am I right? And now they're in pop form. Curse you, Funko. All right, so that's a wrap on this month's preview. So did anything catch your eye? Are you excited about something I didn't mention? If you like this feature, make sure to like the video and feel free to subscribe for more news on comics and manga. On that note, signing off.